1340 96.5 KVGC. Well, that's right. We have members of the Sutter Creek Police Department with us today. Sergeant Glaster is with us. Welcome back to the KVGC microphone. Thanks, Jim. It's, it's great to be back with you. It's been, yeah. a, it's been a few months. Been a few months. Been a few months. You've got someone with you today. I too. do. Our newest team member. Um, we just brought Jimmy McEwen on. Uh, he actually is coming back to us. Uh, he was a reserve for Sutter Creek uh, about 16 years ago. Uh, oh, yeah. Left, takes some uh, full-time positions, Great. and he he spent the last little bit over a decade down to Angels Camp, and he found his way home. So good, we're, good. we're excited to have him. Welcome back. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Welcome back. So, so l- let's talk just a little bit about the uh, Citizens Academy that you're going to be putting on. Sure thing. Um, Citizens Academy is a is a pretty neat program and at the Sutter Creek Police, I mean, they're all run different, but our particular one's going to be basically six weeks in length and it's going to be held uh, one evening, it's going to be Wednesdays from 6.30 in the evening till 9.30 in the evening. Um, it's going to start September 9th, it's going to run through the 24th of October and during these periods we're going to bring in sub- subject matter experts and we're going to talk about various things such as general patrol, search and seizure, use of force, and things that a lot of people have a lot of questions about and they don't really understand what that is that we do. Now, if I I successfully pass this, can I carry a gun and drive the patrol car? Do I have arresting powers? No, you wouldn't have anything. It's it's simply really an information and also to open up a, a... dialogue back and forth from the community so this, back to us so this isn't so you're not looking for reserves or no no this is just a, so there's like an informational meeting on what this what the police department does absolutely i mean a lot of people okay. you know they watch cops or whatever and mm-hmm. and they they want a deeper understanding of what we do what our profession is and this is one of the ways that we can outreach to the community and show them more from an internal perspective of you know whether it's the training we go through or the legal update stuff that we have to learn and things of that nature so that people kind of get an inside view of what's going on. So this isn't, so you're not trying to create, like sometimes I I know, I think was I own had one a few months back or so where they brought people through and they would assist in the, the sheriff's office does it too. They would assist in the office or they would assist um, patrol officers, but they, they weren't a sworn position. It was just like a, like an aide, like an assistant. This is not that type of program? No, we actually have a a volunteer program. We have some fantastic people that are already volunteering. They work in the office. They help us with a bunch of stuff. But this is kind of separate. Now, if someone goes through this and and they deem that they want to be part of our team also, Mm -hmm. uh, that's a different process, and we can talk about that at the time. Is there is there any age limitation for this? Yeah, you got to be over eighteen. Okay. There is a couple limitations. Um, you need to either work or live in the city of Sutter Creek, in, okay. incorporated okay. Sutter Creek. Gotcha. Uh, you need to be over eighteen. Of course, we can't have juveniles. You got to be legal right. age, and, right. and with no you know serious uh, felony convictions that may preclude you from just learning some of the information. That was going to be one of my questions. Do you need to be a resident of Sutter Creek? To take this class at this at for the first one because we're not really sure of how much people we're going to have at this one. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's either you need to either work yeah. or live in Sutter Creek. Ha, have you offered something like this before? No, this will be Sutter Creek's first one. I mean, yeah. other departments have. This isn't a new thing. So you know, luckily there's yeah. there's been people that have have gone down this path before that we can pull you know information from their programs. But as far as Sutter Creek goes, this yeah. is our first. Officer McEwen, did uh, Angels Camp have anything like this? No, we. Uh, we actually had a, a volunteer program. We did do, uh, you know, community outreach programs like that, uh-huh. but nothing, nothing to this extreme. Not, uh-huh. not, not before like this. So this is actually, uh, it, it's actually new to me too. Yeah. So yeah. I read. Speaking of Angels Camp, I read where the chief's going to retire. He he is at that. Yeah. He is at that. Uh, yeah. See, so you of... left, and now he said, "What? I can't. I can't do this by well, myself. I got to get out." Of here. I, <laughs> no. I'll take a little bit of credit <laughs> for that. Yeah, yeah. It's that's just the way it goes. Yeah. All right. True. All right. So does it feel good to be back in uh, it, Sutter Creek? It does at that. You know, I I uh, I always considered Sutter Creek a second home to me, mm-hmm. and the fact that I'm able to come back over here and relearn some of the stuff that i i i miss so much sure so it's uh how should i say it's it's a new experience yeah. but it's still home to me so it's it's been incredible so far welcome Absolutely. back thank you welcome so much back. i do appreciate it 
So, Sergeant Glaster, is there a charge for this? Is it free? No, it's this is actually uh, free. To there's no cost at all. Uh-huh. So, um, I think that for basically the investment of time, because there will be there's a three hour investment per day. So there's six of them. There's eighteen hours of your life right, that you're right. going to invest. So, uh, other than that, I think the information and the insight. And most importantly, from at least our perspective, is the opening of a two-way communication and dialogue with the community so mm-hmm. that we better understand mm-hmm. their needs. Um, I think it's it going to be an incredible thing. Great. So this is coming up when? It's September 19th is the first one, okay. and it's going to run through October 24th. Uh, applications are available down at the police department. Um, alternatively, if someone calls the PD and leaves a name and maybe an email address, yeah. uh, we'll try to. We could po- probably send out the application if they have trouble if they're having trouble driving in. But uh, they can come down and speak to any of us, and we get the application and, and we'll go from there. No, that's a, that's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Are yes. they all going to be Wednesday evenings? Yes, every Wednesday. So going okay. for six weeks concurrently, it's going to be every Wednesday. Will there be refreshments? Uh, I imagine there will be, <laughs> though, though uh, you know, maybe a keg of beer <laughs> well, I'm with a tap. No, I'm maybe only some kidding. Coffee or something. Yeah, well, I'm sure there'll be water and coffee, and then we're going to be holding it at the community center. So, oh, okay. uh, over there, where like city council meetings are held. Yeah, yeah. And so it's a great venue for that. Good. So how are things going in Sutter Creek? It's going great. It's great, Good. absolutely great. The city's yeah. uh, the city's nice. The people are great. I mean, I, I love working in Sutter Creek. Looks like the bridge. I don't want to. I don't want to hex things, but it looks like the bridge project's kind of moving ahead and moving along is it a little ahead of schedule or is it gonna finish on time you know i don't know about the schedule and as a lot of things that construction sure looks good yeah they may be on schedule now but who knows what happens tomorrow so i i've not been i I don't want to hex things yeah but uh i do i do notice that it's a big pain in the rear for main street and the people that are coming through have been very patient and it's very much appreciated by all of us we were talking with lisa klosowski a a week or so ago and i said you know lisa yeah you have to look at it this way it's it's almost a benefit because people have to stop it's a stoplight we have stoplights here in jackson it's not you know but they have to stop and then they can look around and see the stores see the shops captive audience maybe i should come back and and check this place out maybe you you follow what i'm saying yeah i don't think it's a bad thing you know i I, you spin it make it a good thing you know (laughs) there you go stop in sutter creek check us out i don't know if even i'm good at spinning stuff enough to say a stoplight's a good thing (laughs) (laughs) all right all right so folks want more information on this they can uh can they go to your facebook page and find it on your facebook Uh, i believe it is on the facebook page and they can come down they can speak to any of the officers Mm -hmm. uh right now my understanding is officer Harmon's one that's uh really kind of leading up that but any of us will be able to give uh information at the least the most basic level and be able to provide the application for it all right and again this is for anyone who works or lives in the incorporated city of sutter creek 18 years of age and older uh, correct. And you can find out the inner workings of the police department. How does the police department work, basically, is the class, right? Basically, uh, how the police department works, but we're going to go over stuff such as, um, you know, basic pat- patrol procedure, mm-hmm. um, some maybe tactical operations, uh, search and seizure. And, you know, a lot of people see stuff and they don't understand, you know, if we have, where, where do you get your legal right, right to do this? Right, or, right. And uh, we're going to try to go through that. And obviously it's not going to be a... You know, in 18 hours, we can't do the same as a, a basic academy at 900 sure. plus hours. But uh, it'll be a good introduction, and at the very least, it'll give them uh, somewhere to start where if they want to continue educating or they want to continue in a volunteer position. I think it's a great idea. I think it's great. And, and maybe you could kind of scale it down a little bit, maybe have a one or two weekend one for the kids and let the kids understand how the police I think that would be a great idea, too. especially when, yeah. when you reach the kids, yeah. you know, because – because for some reason, kids kids still like police, and yeah. we, they all wave at We us. all like the police. Yeah. We all like the police. So Most all of right. us do. Well, there we go. Well, I do. I came back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sergeant Glaster, thanks for coming in today. Officer uh, McEwen, stop by once in a while.